Hello. So it is Tuesday. 13, no, 15, no. How many days? 15 days post-surgery. Yeah, over two weeks. 15 days post-surgery. And I'm thinking of going to the gym. I was thinking I could just do a little bit of bike, perhaps and a little bit of lower body but I was also thinking how I haven't actually really missed the gym which I really missed it when I first got my boobs done seven years ago I remember I had ants in my pants and I was actually dying to get back into the gym but I was more of a new gym bunny back then I'd only been taking it seriously for like a year perhaps whereas now it's like same old same old I just thought I'd be brutally honest and yeah I'm an athlete I'm a competitor I'm a professional and I ain't feeling it particularly um yeah not like buzzing to get in the gym just being honest but i am gonna go so i was walking to the gym hello oh i can't see you. oh yeah <laughs> where's the light classic oh have you farted this smells of farts no <laughs> that's what i mean maybe it was jack <laughs> yeah <laughs> So I'm going back to the gym. Jack. I'm going back to the gym. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah, it's cold. Am I going to smash it? Scarier. No. Oh, what am I going to train? Nothing. I'm going to train chest. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye bye. <laughs> I'm here and I'm good at it. Hey everyone, so happy Wednesday. It is now 16 days post-surgery. The last clip you would have seen would have been me in the gym. Now, I didn't film any of my workout because it really wasn't groundbreaking, <laughs> to be honest. I just did 30 minutes on the stationary bike uh, with a little bit of uh, resistance, but not a crazy amount. Then I decided to try and do some banded work with my glute band, just a couple of sidewalks, kickbacks, but I felt like I was still engaging my upper body. So I decided to leave those, and then I just literally did four sets of 15 bodyweight air squats. That is it. Uh, with rest in between each set, so like 10 minutes. And then I was done. I felt like my right boob just felt a little bit Somethingy. I don't really know how to describe it. Just like it had been worked a little bit, even though I hadn't really done anything to work it. But obviously, just doing your day-to-day -day stuff, housework and things like that, you are still going to use your upper body. So uh, I didn't do a great deal in the gym, but it was nice to be back in there and just move a little bit. Aside from the walking that I've been doing, it was nice to do something a little bit different. So. I will just do that going forwards, go to the gym, see how I feel and obviously listen to my body. That's the most important thing because at the end of the day, I am still only 16 days post surgery. So yeah, that was my training session. Now I'm all dolled up because I'm meeting a friend today, uh, Daniela. She's also a fellow performer. She does like sword swallowing and really cool um, cabaret acts. So she has moved to nearby where I live so we're going to meet up for lunch so I thought I'd put a pretty little dress on today and a little bit of makeup actually love this dress it is so cute do love my pretty dresses and I had a delivery uh last night from this company called Teddy Blake New York and they have sent me a free gift which I'm very, very excited about. Now, I know that this is a really, really, really cute handbag. And the name of this particular handbag is actually called Kate. So I'm going to show you. 
comes in this massive box. How ridiculous is that? It's beautiful, beautiful packaging. And you open it up and it did come in um, bubble wrap as well, but I already did have a sneaky peek. Uh, Teddy Blake, New York, designer handbags made in Italy, luxury leather. Each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. Oh, so here she is. And you know a bag is fancy when it comes in a bag, comes in a bag in a box. So it comes with its own dust bag, super cute. And I absolutely love it. How stunning is this bag? <gasps> oh my God. I absolutely adore it. Just take a look guys. It's like a beigey nude color and it's quite large. I wanted quite a large bag because I'm like Mary Poppins and just have so much stuff in my bag. It's never ending. A uh, little tag on it. And yeah, it's called the Kate Hypria. I hope I've said that right. And inside is a strap. So obviously you can have it super long and then obviously some stuffing inside. And it's very roomy. It's got two inside pockets, lovely soft lining inside, <laughs> lovely big spacious pocket inside on both sides. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much, guys, for sending me this handbag. I'll put a link in the description um, to their website and where you can find them. They do loads of colours and sizes and stuff. So I'm going to take this bag out today and uh, go see my friend for lunch. So catch up with you after. Yo, so I am at Ashford Outlet, which is like a designer outlet. And it's kind of a halfway point for my mum and I. So we often meet up here, go for a little walk around, maybe grab a coffee. So it is 1st of December. Oh my God. Does that mean we can officially start celebrating Christmas? I think it means that. So open day one on my advent calendar. I'll have to show you my advent calendar when I get back. So it is officially 17 days post-surgery I feel pretty good still obviously having to be careful with everything I've not been back to the gym since the other day um, just kind of been busy and not really felt like it and I've got a show tonight Moomoo's Christmas cabaret show starting tonight so let the Christmas madness begin there's my mum I'm all dressed up again in a pretty little dress because why not so yeah catch you after good morning guys so i am gonna go and get some blood tests done today with a company called randox and they're gonna test my hormones amongst other things um but you have to fast for six hours before your appointment so i naturally woke up at like half four anyway i don't know why and sat in bed and it's half five and then I realized I should probably eat because my appointment's at 11. It's actually only five and a half hours fasting but I feel like I'm gonna wanna eat. So I'm gonna quickly have some oats with some whey. The decision is which flavor whey do I go for? The cats are all thinking they're gonna get fed. Guys, it's way too early for your breakfast. Caramel biscuit or vanilla ice cream? Comment below which one I should have. I've gone for vanilla ice cream. Hell yeah. Some blueberries and raspberries and we're good to go. So definitely went back to sleep this morning. Fortunately got another like hour and a half of sleep and obviously couldn't eat anything else, drink anything else apart from some water. And I've now arrived in Croydon. Fortunately, it's not raining, but it is freezing. Um, it is almost 11 o'clock, so perfect timing. I will show you when I head in what we get up to. So here we go. So 
what happens in here. This is where this all, is the, where your bloods come. all the bloods come yeah, here. Cool. Wow. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, wicked. Yep. 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 Awesome. <laughs> so literally just left and they were amazing really really friendly really really thorough um, really great experience so yeah should get the results within four days and you get this cool little booklet which I'll show you guys as soon as it arrives I'll show you all the results and stuff and talk you through what they mean but yeah highly recommend really nice bunch of people and I do have a code so if you want to do an in-clinic check you can get 10% off using code K10 oh oh got me an iced chocolate again I think I'm a little bit obsessed mm. so good it is the weekend so Christmas has officially begun at Moomoo. Did the first Christmas show yesterday? No, Thursday. Today is Saturday. So I had a show Thursday, had a show yesterday, then danced in the nightclub after last night. And then today is Saturday and I have four shows. The brunch, which I'm about to do now, then the bottom of Cisco, then the cabaret show, and then the nightclub. Oh my God. All is good, I'm excited, feel good, and uh, managed to get a good sleep. Well, actually it was a bit of a rubbish sleep, but then I had some breakfast and went back to sleep for like an hour and a half. And after the brunch, I am gonna pop home and hopefully get a little nap in, so I can get the next three shows done, feeling sufficiently energized. Uh, got something to update you on uh, with regards to my health yay good news and some bizarre news um, but I think I'll talk to you about that when I'm back home because I should probably go down and do my first song okay so I am back home on my break between shows just did the brunch and then I've got a couple of hours at home and then I've got three more shows there is Bugsy okay so I was going to update you on like my health uh, got the results through from the tests with regards to the BIA ALCL, which is the Breast Implant Associated Anaplastic Large Cell Lymphoma, which is a super rare type of cancer that can be found in um, your body caused from textured breast implants. Uh, if you want to know more about it, do some research. There's loads of information out there about it. But basically... The NHS didn't do the testing for that. My private surgeon sent off after my surgery for the test, CD30 and CD3. <clears throat> he sent tissue and fluid to rule that out. And I got sent a couple of days ago my histology and cytology reports. I'm going to read them to you quickly just so you know exactly what it says. Basically, the macroscopic uh, left breast tissue, so that was the one that was swelled up. Irregular cream, light brown, membranous capsular tissue, uh, it says the size of it. Representative samples in four blocks. Microscopic, the sections show fibrous capsular tissue with scattered implant material. So that would obviously be, be where the implant was ruptured, obviously both were ruptured. There is a prominent implant associated reaction comprising sheets of foamy macrophages, multinucleated giant cells and groups of small lymphocytes and plasma cells. Attached fibrin and reactive stromal fibroblasts are present. There is no atypia or atypia or evidence of lymphoma. Confirmatory immunohistochemistry is underway and a supplementary report will follow. Diagnosis, left breast, capsulectomy, fibrous capsule with implant material, immunohistochemistry pending. So that's pretty much saying that there's no evidence of lymphoma, of the cancer, but there is still one more uh, test to follow. That's the histology. The cytology said fluid, um, 
approximately 15 millilitres of turbid, gelatinous fluid received, cell block to follow, supplementary report, the cell block is cellular and shows blood with frequent neutrophils, eosinophils and macrophages, CD30 is negative, there is no evidence of BIA ALCL. So that is fantastic news. It's basically, I'm going to say what, like 90% certain. I don't have lymphoma, cancer, BIA, LCL, nothing. Obviously, I had the results prior to my surgery to say there was no infection. So looks like we're all good. Woohoo! Tallulah is here now. So that is fantastic news. Obviously, I'm super happy. When I got the email, I wasn't jumping for joy. I think only because it says no signs of ALCL. And then when I replied saying, is that 100% certain? Is that all the tests done? Obviously they replied saying, oh, there's one more test, um, which hopefully we should get in a week. So I was like, oh, okay. You know, you kind of just want that final 100%. No, all good. So yeah, pretty much there. But yeah, I will obviously let you know that final one um, to tell you, you know, obviously that I'm sure it's all clear. Now on another note, really, really super random, and uh, I honestly had to laugh about it, to be honest. I really randomly went for an eye test um, a few days ago. I don't know if I told you about it, but basically my mum's had her cataracts done and we were talking about the opticians and I was sort of saying like, oh my God, I haven't had my eyes tested in years. But I have really good vision. I have no concerns about my eyes whatsoever. But I thought, oh, I had nothing else to do the other day. And there was an appointment available at Vision Express, 25 quid, get your eyes tested. And I thought, you know, I probably should because I genuinely haven't been tested probably since like 15, 20 years ago. I don't even know. So I went along to have my eye test and they took photos of my eyes and then they spoke to me about a 3D scan um, that they could do. But they were like, oh, that's an extra £10. So I was like, nah, leave it. Let's just do the normal um, test. Then saw the optician and he did obviously the eye test and my vision was pretty good. It came back as plus 1.25, which he said, you know, I can manage pretty well. My eyes can sort of deal with that pretty well because um, I'm young and healthy. Uh, and he asked if I spent much time in front of a screen and I said no. So he said if I did a job where I was in front of a screen a lot, he'd maybe suggest, you know, getting some glasses for that, that it might help. But, you know, in all honesty, plus 1.25 is pretty all right so didn't bother getting glasses I don't really want them particularly so did that and then he said oh we need to redo the photos and I was like oh okay went to get the photos redone and the guy was like oh we're gonna do the 3d scan but we're doing it free of charge and I thought that was peculiar but I was like oh okay cool then went to do the payment and I said oh so do I know about the 3d scan and he was like oh we just give you a call if there's anything wrong or whatever I was like okay cool left fine all good no glasses vision's pretty good happy with that and then I got a call today from the Kent Eye Clinic I think it was or Kent Eye Care and I was having a nap so I just kind of hung up because uh, I was kind of not really 100% with it and I was just like Ugh. I was on my watch and I just like tapped red and then I it beeped that I had a voicemail so I listened to this voicemail and it's like oh hi we're calling from the eye care clinic to make an appointment with you because of your referral I was like oh, what is this news to me called them straight back and I was like oh hi you left a voicemail oh yeah we just need to book you in as you've been referred I was like, have I? And they were like, oh yeah, you went to Vision Express the other day, um, correct? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, they've referred you to see us. I was like, oh, I had no idea. Like, what's wrong with me? And she was like, oh, I'm not a specialist, but it just says here, you've got raised discs. I was like, okay, I have no idea what that means. So they booked me in for Tuesday. So literally in a few days time, booked me in for Tuesday, I needed my national health number, my NHS number and stuff. And I got off the phone. I was like, do I Google this? Obviously, I Googled it. All I put in was raised discs in eyes. And do you know what comes up? Brain tumour, of course, uh, amongst other things. 
So now I'm like, oh great, now there's something else wrong with me. Like, what is going on? <laughs> Obviously, I'm sure it's not a brain tumour. Um, it's not funny, but it's just funny that there's now something else potentially wrong with me. And it was like on a whim that I went and had this eye test and I thought I was all good. And I just was not expecting this phone call to say that I need to go in on Tuesday because I've been referred. Raised discs in my eyes. And I know you shouldn't Google these things, but obviously I had no idea what that meant. So I just wanted to look it up. And like I said, I was not expecting what came up to come up. Maybe I'm just going to post it here exactly what came up immediately. So yeah, I've tried to like research it a bit more. Um, but everything that comes up isn't great, I'm not going to lie. So, obviously, I am, I'm not worried, I'm just like, what else, what next? You know, I'm kind of like, oh, for God's sake. So, I guess I'm looking forward to Tuesday and just getting it done, and I'm really hoping they've just made some sort of mistake, or it is something really simple that is like, no big deal. Let's hope. I'm sure that's the case. But as you can imagine, I'm like, why? Why? Um, and then it doesn't help that when you Google some of the sort of symptoms or whatever of some of the stuff to do with the eyes, is like headaches and nausea and vomiting. And what happened? Last Sunday, I spent all day in my mum's car vomiting with a severe headache. Well, a migraine, basically. And I do get headaches a lot. So, obviously now my head is going, what the hell? But I'm smiling about it. I'm just laughing. I'm just like, you know, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Um, I've got work all weekend, so I'm staying busy with that. I'm just like, how, am I just having a really unlucky few years? Um, I don't know. But we keep smiling. We keep going. And we don't stress or worry about something that hasn't happened yet. Um, and I'm just going to focus on the really good news about the boob and the no lymphoma and stuff like that. And um, yeah, obviously I'll just keep you updated and uh, maybe I'll show you some clips from work tonight and finish the video on a high. But yeah, hope everyone is well and taking care of themselves and uh, chat to you soon.